Get ready to chuckle until your cheeks ache with the Karens and Kevins. Witness their wholehearted embrace of life's humorous moments. Let's kick things off with this wild scene. Roll the video. Tough guy, I need you to be quiet right now, sir. Oh, what are you going to do? I'm going to go from the hotel, and I recommend you get out of my face. Or what? Nathan, call 911. An impolite Karen disrespects a senior restaurant employee, causing a scene. He wasn't talking to you. What are you gonna do, bro? Mom, you're embarrassed. Exactly. That's why you need to stop. I'm a beat. I don't care who you are. I'm a beat. You have no respect. Ooh, are you like a little bitch? Look, I thought you were gonna be pathetic. I'm mom. Excuse me. And this guy apologized to me because this guy just interrupted me when that lady was on your desk. Oh, here we go. Some more validation from random strangers. Brace yourself for a delivery driver's freakout moment. Hello. I'll show you some air. Who is this here? What are you doing? What are Who's you that? doing? Hey. Who's that Why are you trying to rob the cat? Call the police. What? No, yes, yes, it's you. Yes, it's yeah, you. We have your ribs. We have your ribs. Your... What's the problem? What, what's the problem? You can't rub in his cat. You see, you get the cat carrier out of the back and try to get the cat in it. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's all on yeah. video. Yeah, it's all on video. Yeah. It's not my cat. It's not my cat. I know it's not your cat. cat. It's his cat. cat. It's his cat. It's my cat. My cat. It's, it's his cat. I don't it's steal cat. your cat. You just try to steal it. It's clear as day. You try to steal a cat. You try to steal our cat. Try to steal the cat. Yesterday. Yesterday. You've got him on video. Got him on video. Yeah. You've got him on video. Soaking. Oh, yeah, wait, watch. I'll show you. You try to steal the cat. Him. Him. We have his registration. Same registration. Try to steal it. Look. No, 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 no. You. It was you. No, no. You. Yeah, look. Yes, it was you. Watch him. Watch him. Try to put it in the bag. Watch. China Express, do not order from this takeaway. This is your Do not order from this takeaway. I would not order from here, love. I would not order from here. Well, what happened? Why? Because he's robbing, he's robbing the cats. What's he doing? What's he doing robbing cats? He's robbing the cats. He's just been, he's been robbing the cats, Bill. He's been robbing the cats, mate. We got, we got him on camera here, mate. He's robbing the cats, mate. He's come from our house. He's got, he's the delivery driver. He tried taking, he's just tried, he tried taking my neighbour's cat. Hey, look, there's the, there's the, what's this video here, man? Show you. Hello. Keep an eye on this lady who knows she's had a few drinks but believes she's got everything under control, even though it might not seem that way. Yes, yes, yes. You're trying to intimidate me. And no, you're not... trying to intimidate me. You're drunk, so get out and stop cutting cords. I may be drunk, but I know what I'm doing. You better calm yourself. No, you better calm yourself. Why don't you get some more screws and not put in your head? Or maybe you could have the ones you have in there you, tightened up. You, Why don't you get some more screws and not put in your head? Or maybe you could have the ones you have in there you, tightened up. You, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Did you have it on a video? Yes, I do. You're going to jail. No, yons are going to jail. No. You they think, have you. No, you think you're going to come in this laundry room and block me in and yell and scream at me like a raving lunatic. It's not going to happen. Well, let me tell you something. The officer. I don't care what you were told or what you're thinking you're saying. Put this goddamn door back on. We've got a Karen who decides to venture into this guy's front yard. Uh, she will know what she's doing now. Excuse me, hello? Oh, hello. for God's sake, really? Yeah, yeah, really. What's, what's this then? What's this? You're on my side of the house. Again. You're doing it to wind me up on purpose, aren't you? I'm not winding up on purpose. You... So, just so happens that out of nowhere, you know how I feel about the environment and emissions. 
And first it's I don't know. No, no. First you rip up all your grass and replace it with stupid astroturf. And now all of a sudden we've got a big drink fuel drinking monster tanking that in a blooming driveway. Well yeah, it's my well yeah, it's my car. You've done it on purpose though. I've not done anything on purpose yet. This for the day. I've not had nothing for the is day. It's a higher car. No, it's not, it's my car. So this is your car permanently? This is my car permanently, yeah. yeah. That's real mature, real mature. Because <laughs> at that level you've spent that amount of money on it just to wind me up. <laughs> no! Is it new or is it pre-owned? It's pre-owned. Okay, well you've at least done something right, okay. You've what? got half, half a point there, but anything else? And how much does this cost you in fuel to fill up? It doesn't matter what it costs me. It's, it, it, it's a hybrid, it's a hybrid. I bet you take this just to do the short run around, don't you? Don't you even have a bicycle? No, who, who, who rides a bike? Loads of people ride bikes. What, like who? People, um, postmen. Have you, have you got a bike? I've got a bike, and I would well, ride anywhere within a 20 mile radius. Oh, well, oh, well, there's my point exactly. What, what's your point exactly? Yeah, not normal people, normal, normal people do not have bikes. Normal responsible people would do that. So, so, so hold me. So firstly, the other day, yeah, you broke into my garden. I haven't broken in. You keep, and keep saying broken in, haven't broken in. And now you're over here. Yeah, I don't, I don't break in, I'm climbing over, it's a difference. No, 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 but it's not. It's not a difference. Nothing's broken. It's it is broken. Fine. I haven't intruded. Haven't trespassed. This is probably public right of way. No, no, but no, right no, 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 no. But it's not. You're filming me. No, no. I'm, I'm not filming you. I'm, I'm, I'm filming my car. Right. Okay. That you've gone and got a car just, just to spite me. No, but I, I, I'm not spiting you. You are. I'm you not. Are. You, honestly, it's ridiculous. But, you know. But... You know what? Excuse me? You're an absolute piece of for, for, Yeah. For what well. reason? And I've got a right mind. Do you know what? If you keep pushing and pushing and pushing, I might move. What? Move, what, move where? Away, away from you. Somewhere somewhere where people are respectful. I'm well, sorry, but... Well, you, apology not accepted. You, you broke into my garden the other day. What will it be next? Honestly, what is it going to be? You're just going to keep doing stuff to wind me up? Are you, you going <laughs> to... Well, what do you want? No wonder people don't want to bring children into this world. Because people like you destroying the planet. It, the wind is going everywhere. Your you, you, you hair is turning to a mess. It's a free blow dry. I don't need to put I don't need to use any electricity. You should try it. A wild Kevin appears. I got cameras all over the place, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Look at you. Got one in the wild. <laughs> What's your take on this next clip? Can't you just give my deputy your information? Why can't I just eat my dinner? Why can't you just give my deputy your information if that's all you're doing? What's your name and badge number? I'm Corporal Deputy Haynes. I'm Corporal Haynes and my badge number is 612. Okay. Are you from here? Can I put my window up? And no. You, can you eat my dinner? No, because we're conducting an investigation now. Can I give you like two inches just like I did him? No, we're conducting an investigation now. I'm going to give you like two inches of window and you're going to be satisfied with that. No, I'm not. We're conducting an investigation now. Because you're being uncooperative for no reason. You're in an empty parking lot with closed businesses. You're refusing us to give us any kind of information. We don't know why you're here. You don't know who you are. We're unable to identify you, so try to figure out what who and why you're why you're here. That doesn't explain anything to me. You're a bad cop. Well, you're, okay your opinion. And so can you send a picture of um, the DL to our email? Yeah, well. It's not. It's <clears throat> reason that you picked an empty closed part of to eat your tacos? How far away is Taco Bell? Oh, you can see it. This is going to be better for the video. You can see Taco Bell. Is there a here. reason that you picked this part of though? Are you from here? It's right next to Taco Bell. Are you from here? It's right next to Taco Bell. Are you from here? Like you couldn't go I'll home? I'll give you that one. I answered that one. No, you didn't. Are you, are you, but you couldn't go home? I'm not going to answer any of your questions. Okay. You can for we wait for another supervisor, that's fine. That's fine. And he's gonna tell me or she's gonna tell me I'm free to go. And you guys gonna feel like... Hey, 
you doing, sir? Howdy. What you got going on, brother? I'm not going to answer any questions. You're not going to answer any questions? No, sir. Okay, we know you put part of a closed business, right? Can I show you? Hmm? Yeah, absolutely. You're familiar with this brand? No. You would identify that brand as Taco, Taco Bell. Bell? Okay, I see yeah. the order ahead. Okay. Yeah, I see. Uh, you see the, the consumed Taco Bell in the right, bag? Right, yeah. All right, we're doing some detective work here, right? Okay. And if you if you turn behind you, mm -hmm. there's a Taco Bell, and right. so I drove from Taco Bell, and I okay. and then I ate my Taco Bell. Okay. And I was in the process of eating my Taco Bell when All I was right. stopped by your officers. So am I free to go? Well, not right now. We're trying to get your information from you, sir. What's your name and badge number? It's Sergeant Baldwin. Um, this is a closed business. It's considered loitering prowl, and you can't be part of a closed business if you're eating your food or whatnot. Simple thing is when they ask for identification, you're supposed to provide it. Am I free to go? No. You got identification on you. I'm literally not going to answer any of your questions, so I, I, am I free to go? All right, I'm going to start at room. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her with you now or any time during questioning. You cannot afford an attorney. One will be appointed to represent you. If any time you wish to stop talking or have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights? Sir, do you understand these rights? I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you understand these rights? I'm not going to answer any questions, man. Okay. Step out of the car. A Kevin goes into a frenzy down under in Australia. All right. You f oh, this, that's, that's why. Oh, oh, oh. oh, well, he is, man. He come out real and they did all Oh, well. Hey, stop me! You act like a scared woman now! Hey, you got all these people around you! And your camera! That's how you live, you dogs! Huh? Gotcha! I don't want nothing to do with the kids, mate! I think I'm not involved them. in it! It's me, him, and this one! That's it! All right, so stay out of it. All right? You f this, that's, that's why. Oh, 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 oh. Well, he is, mate. He come out real and they get all that rewards. Oh, well. I can literally stop the veer right there. Karen loses her cool over the smallest thing. Roll the video. Don't tell me how to do mine, okay? Please leave. With all due respect, don't tell me how to do my job. I won't tell you how to do yours. Please I heard Let's you the first just time. tell me why you're here. So you tell me my job. Do you demand? Go away. Do you demand explanations from every person you meet on the street? I don't normally have people filming my bit where I work. Okay. Well, well this so is then, public parking, right? How do you get? This is public parking, correct? Hey, can I have a gosh? Oh, we're just doing some public photography all around town today. Okay. Make a movie. Uh, we're, uh, we're independent journalists, and so I document all my interactions and walk around and do investigative journalism. This lady seemed to she believe didn't like being filmed. she freaked yeah. the f out on us and was like, unless you tell me what the f you're doing, you gotta get the f out of here. And I was like, whoa, we're on the sidewalk. Like, I'm not gonna go in her office, and, you know, but like, if you yell at me and tell me to leave, I'm not gonna leave. Yeah, don't worry about it. Seriously, who behaves like this? Take a look. God loves you. <laughs> God loves you, man. It, it is the love of God. Or why you're angry. Or why you're mad. Yeah, I'm really okay with that. Yeah. How you doing, young lady? And I, I can tell you something else. I, something else. I had an abortion two years ago, and I don't regret it at all. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus, and I'm so happy. Okay. I'm so grateful. Okay. And I'm a professor at this university. Okay. And I make more money than you. Okay. And... What else? What's your name? That's none of your business. I, I mean, we're being cordial here. You, you hear? Yeah, got my mic. Are. We're being cordial, right? Yeah, we're being cordial. We're being cordial. So, my, my name is Ricky Castor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I mean, nice to meet you. Is that you just came up here to tell us your business without giving us your name? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll pray for you, okay? We'll pray to the Lord save you. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Um, whatever, I wish I knew your name so we could know where to pray. Uh, well, either either way, either way, mm -hmm. you're a soul. Either way, you're a soul. Kind of 
What, what, what makes me that? You kind of ruined everybody's lunch. They're like, oh, oh sorry. You took the cord out? Yeah, I took the cord out. Yeah, because okay. you won't give me my bike, mic back. Okay. Please, please give me my mic back, please. Please, young lady. Thank you. Thank you. Have a, have a good day, okay? You're not stronger than me, all right? God bless you. God bless God. you. Hey, hey. hey, officer. This young lady, went, she tried oh, to rip I'm my stuff up. Oh, I'm assaulting her. She's, she's assaulting. She's taking his stuff. She's Come here. Her. I have it on video. Yeah. I'm assaulting him? Yes. Why, you're, you're very angry I'm about your abortion. Him? Yeah. Let, let go myself. Okay, Come if on. I get arrested right now, I would literally Why are you laugh out loud. Like Hi. No, it's not. Okay. You should probably let him have this stuff. Are you gonna ask me? Would you please let him? Can I? Can I? Can I? So you need to let go right now, or you're under arrest. Walk away right now. I already said I was gonna let it go. I have a question for you, Bartman. Mr. Bartman, am I assaulting you by holding this court? Uh, can, can I get myself? Can I, can I get myself, ma'am? Now's your chance. We'll go talk, but we're going to do it over here. Can I ask a question? Of course. Go ahead. Let go right now. Let go right now. Yes or no? Let go right now. Yes, no. Yes or no? You're under arrest. Put your hands behind you. We, we pray for the grace of God for you. This guy takes matters into his own hands to get his nuggets. Here we go. I did it myself. I got my twin nugget. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get I got to get I got to get I got to get You got what? What? You got what? What? You got what? 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 A Starbucks customer gets upset with an employee for not receiving a thank you. I purchased a cup of coffee today, and all I expect your employee to do is say thank you. Okay, and, and for you to be, he, he did not apologize for that. He you're lying. He did say you're lying. He didn't say thank you, and you're lying. You wasn't even around okay. when I no, no, when no, he no, was no, serving no, me. No, you're no, being no. very argumentative no. and completely unprofessional. No. You're being very. No. This is my evidence. No. Okay. Because no. you're not allowed. You're not allowed to film people. This, the, this is. I'm gonna have to call security right now. You can call security. This is my evidence. I'm going to submit to Starbucks. something that happened last year, okay? okay? I complained about you last year, okay? okay? okay. You're very unprofessional. You shouldn't be working here. You shouldn't be working here. You shouldn't be working here, man, with that type of attitude. Are you racist or something? No. Towards no, black people? No, right? no, a very no, simple, all I ask is a very simple courtesy is to say thank you. Can we, uh, okay? When I spend my money in any I'm business. I'm not my shark. Uh, I've known no, this guy previously. No, no, no. I, I asked this guy to say thank you when I buy my cup of coffee. And he, they, they want to make an issue out of this. Previously? Okay, they want to make an issue out of, uh, today I bought some coffee today. And all I ask these guys, anywhere I go, to, Every Starbucks that I go to, they always say thank you. Okay. It's just very professional. I know it's the second time I purchased this coffee from this individual over here. Sir, stop filming me. He 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 refused. He re he refused. This is my this is my evidence. This is my evidence. Your behavior is my evidence. Your behavior is my evidence. Okay. Now 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 today I asked them why can't you say thank you? He's talking about something that happened last year. You're talking about something that happened last year. Okay? What's I'm talking about something that happened today. My name's Stahl. Stahl. My name's Stahl. Listen, today I bought a cup of coffee. This is my second cup of coffee here today. Okay? My second cup. And I asked the guy, why don't you say thank you? I asked this guy, why doesn't he say thank you? And he, they want to make an issue. Right now? They want to make an issue out of this. This is my evidence. I have a right. I have a right to film. You don't have a right to film. Right? I, I, Do you want me to show you the thoughts? I have a right to film what is going on here, okay, as my evidence. I'm not giving evidence. you permission to film me right now. Pardon me? I'm not giving you permission to film me right now. 
willed. I mean, okay, so you're saying that your company, you, God yeah. willed, does not give me permission to do that? Yeah, you can't do okay. it right now. So I can call your company tomorrow yeah, and, and ask them yeah. about. Because I'm not doing anything wrong. No, you're not doing nothing wrong, but this is my evidence here. Private property as well. This is my evidence. I, I realize that. Yeah. But this is my evidence here, okay? I bought this is my second cup of coffee have, here. They have the right to refuse service. No, I bought this. This is my second cup of coffee. They didn't refuse me service. They gave me this second cup of coffee. I asked the guy, why can't you say thank you when I buy a cup of coffee? That's all I asked him. And they went on to make an issue out of it. Maybe he forgot. Maybe he's having a bad day. As a matter of fact, I did say thank you. No, then I, no, he, no he did not say thank you. He, he's lying. If you had said that, then there would be no issue right now. Guy has a run-in with the cops over a can of Pepsi. Got there, man. Uh, what kind of beverage is that? Huh? Stay your distance, please. Stay your distance? No, oh, we're police officers. Back up. Damn. Yeah. We're police officers. We're here to serve and protect, yeah. sir. Our job is to make sure the community's safe. Not gonna stop for everybody walking. holding a can anywhere? No, not everybody holding a can anywhere. Just me? No, just people that we feel might be drinking in public. So do you, do you suspect sure I might be drinking in public? We have no idea. We don't know what the So you do not is. suspect that I might be drinking in public? Kind of we have what is no. called a reasonable suspicion. Do you have a reasonable suspicion? Yeah, what is hold that? A can. I'm holding a can. That's your reasonable That's suspicion? Reasonable for holding a can is a reasonable suspicion. Yeah. So anybody holding a can is under reasonable suspicion. Well, typically, we like to see the can. May I have your card, please? You'd have to come get it. Is this close? You want me to set it down and then you can grab it? Would that be better so I don't get too close? Moving forward, this guy appears to be losing his mind over a deposition. What's your full name, please? Michael James Lindell. Well, good morning, Mr. Lindell. My name is Charlie Kane. We met for the first time. Who's paying you? Don't sit and scold me already, Mister. I'll do. I'll do whatever I have to do. So I don't. You're, you're not. You're just a lawyer. You're an ambulance chasing lawyer. So don't start with me. I got all day. I'll take as much time as you want. So let's go. I tend to be a slow talker. Good for you. Why'd you call me an ambulance chaser? What? Why did you call me an ambulance chaser? You are a disgusting lawyer. Period. There's my. That's my. That's my right to say. You want to sue me too, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? When I ask you a question, you need to do your best to respond only to my question. Are you gonna arrest me? What? You're disgusting. Keep going. I object to that dumb answer. What are you talking about? Well, first, I didn't go out there, melt down our machines and buy a pillow. I mean, that, what, the, what is wrong with you? It's like, a, you know, you're branded as a frivolous lawyer. Yeah, anything you do, well, you'll be branded as that, because that's all I know about you right now. So go. It's disgusting when you so, sit here. So I'm Dr. branded Mike, as no Mike, election, not my pillow guy. It's Mike, the opposite. Mike, we just got to slow it down. I know, court, court. Just That's, pisses me I, I understand. After the lawsuit, Mr. Twister, oh, you think my pillow benefited from this? What else you got? This is probably the most frivolous lawsuit in the history of the United States, and I mean that. You heard? Then everybody knew that what he did to my pillow and Mike Lindell, how dare him come and sue my pillow? He's a scumbag for doing that. Scumbag. S Q U M bag. Put that in there. Rotten, horrible lawyers like you and the media saying, oh, Mike Lindell's trying to save this country just to make money. This is a horrific what you're doing. It's disgusting. You can't bang on the table because you're. That's why I did. Sorry, I apologize. I can't believe that you're a lawyer, that you would do something like that. Don't you have a moral compass? What's wrong with you? What are you talking about? Now you're starting to be stupid. Where did you even get that, that I purchased any data from Patrick Burns? I never purchased anything or got anything from Patrick Burns, ever. Thank you. And I'm not asking about the lumpy pillow calls. Uh, No, they're not lumpy pillows. That's not what they call on. When you say lumpy pillows, now you're an you got that? You're an is what you are. Like no, he's an a- Lumpy Pillows. Kiss my ass. Put that in your book. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. Maybe they didn't get their pillow on time because of uh, um, the FedEx or whatever. Nobody called because of a lumpy pillow. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you don't have a my pillow too. If you don't, do you? But go ahead. Your lumpy pillow question kind of set a nerve. I get personal and then bad mouth my employees or my pillows or anything like that. Go ahead. You personally did this with Newsmax. It sucks that you're not going to get all this money, huh? I'm not sure you understand how you're perceived. 
I don't care how you think I'm perceived. Let me tell you how you're perceived. I read some of the crap in here, the lies in here. I apologize for calling him, uh, your friend a scumbag. How do you guys sleep at night? You obviously don't have a my pillow. That- and he keeps going. That's a fact. You're right. I should have read this, but I've got other things going on in my life. Do I think uh, you guys and them are a traitor to our country by what you did to my pillow? Yes. You went against my pillow, served my pillow what? and me papers in a lawsuit. What is? You the- are part of a criminal crime family as far as I'm concerned. That could be the dumbest question of the week. What you did is terrible. It's evil. It's terrible. It's wrong. Period. 